Hi everyone, my name's James and welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'll be giving you my thoughts on the Uniqlo Spring Summer 2022 collection. I've picked up a few pieces, I'll review each one and show you what they look like on body. Believe it or not, I've never actually ordered anything from Uniqlo, but I consistently hear that they're one of the best places to go for high quality basics. So this video isn't sponsored in any way, I bought all of these items with my own money and I'll be giving you my honest thoughts. Just for reference, I'm 5 foot 10, around 10 stone. My style is to wear things oversized, so that's what I've gone for with these fits. First thing I'll say is Uniqlo shipping was really fast. I think it only took three days to arrive from my online order, and it was free delivery because of the amount I spent. However, returns aren't free, which might put some people off, including myself, it did make me a bit hesitant to order. Okay, so let's start from bottom and work our way upwards. The first item I wanna show you are the wide fit Baker trousers. As the name implies, these are a wide, relaxed fit, and I picked them up in the natural colorway. So they're somewhere between a sort of cream and stone colorway. The design of this is sort of like a cargo pant except for you don't have the two large pockets on the knees like you do with regular cargos. You do have skinny pockets and there's sort of paneling all around so you are still getting that sort of military vibe. Really nice deep pockets either side and two back pockets. So as you'll see, the tags are still on this one and that's because the fit just wasn't right for me. I picked them up in a 29 inch waist, which is my usual size. However, because the style of these is so relaxed, they were beginning to sort of fall off. I did put a belt on for these fits so that they wouldn't fall off completely. However, I do like my trousers to be able to fit me without a belt. I'll probably size down by one more inch and I think they'd be perfect for me. The rest of the fit though I really like. The wide legs are really nice. The legs were a little bit long for me, so I rolled them up twice at the ankle. You could of course just wear them all the way down, but I do like the cuffed look. These cost just under £40. Having them in hand, I'd say the quality is fine. However, I don't think they're quite worth that, to be honest. Wide fit is pretty standard when you look at cargo pants anyway, so it's not like it's anything special that Uniqlo have done here. So because of that, and because they're too big for me, these will probably be going back. Okay, and my second and final piece of legwear from this haul, the French rib trousers, and I absolutely love these. So again, this is a sort of wide relaxed fit, however, they do taper slightly towards the ankle, which I think gives these a more elegant and classy look compared to just a regular wide leg. However, they're made from this ribbed knit cotton, which makes them really comfortable. They're definitely somewhere between a smart trouser and a jogger, so I think you could be really versatile with the looks you're pulling off with these. It does have an elasticated waistband, which just adds to the overall comfort. However, again, they are just a tiny bit too big for me. I picked these up in a size small, and I think I actually should have gone extra small. And that's purely just because of the fit around the waist. Everything else is perfect for me. I managed to pull off the look in the on body by tightening the drawstrings as much as possible. However, if I move around too much throughout the day, I know these would start to slip down. So although I could make them work, as I said with the cargo trousers, I just want my trousers to fit right from the get-go. Again, I did a slight cuff on the trousers just to get a nice cropped length. And even though the material is relaxed and stretchy, it's still rigid enough to allow you to do those cuffs. Small details include this fake fly, which at first glance you're thinking, what's the point? But actually that's what allows you to wear these as a more smart piece. Otherwise they might just look like fully fledged jogging bottoms. And on the back, you've got a button pocket as well. Now these cost just under 40 pounds as well. And that's just on the edge of what I'd want to pay for these. I think they are unique. I really like the fit. If only the waist was a little bit smaller, I'd be keeping these for sure. Okay, next up, let's move upwards on body. And I had to pick up the Aerism tee. This is the t-shirt everyone goes on about if you want oversized basics for a good price. This is probably the thing I've been most excited about from the whole order, just because of how highly rated this is. So it's a cotton blend t-shirt, it's not 100% cotton. Now this is an oversized t-shirt, so it's intentionally big. It's actually called a half sleeve t-shirt, so the shoulders are dropped a little and the sleeves are oversized so they run halfway down the body. The first thing I noticed about this was how heavy weight it was. And that's a really important thing for oversized t-shirts because you want them to drape over your body. I actually picked this up in a size extra large. I probably could have gone down to a large, but overall I'm quite happy with how it looks but I do have two minor criticisms. The first is the length of the body. I think it's a little bit too long. One thing I look for in oversized t-shirts is for the body to be quite boxy, meaning that the length is actually quite similar to the width. Now this is much longer than it is wide. However, me getting this in an extra large is obviously playing a factor in this. My second criticism is the neck. I think this neckline is bordering on a little bit too wide for me. I like to wear really tight fitting necks like the t-shirt I have on now. I think this can really transform the way an oversized t-shirt looks because it goes from looking just too big for you to be an intentionally oversized. However, we have to talk about the price, just under 15 pounds, which is really good value for this t-shirt. 
It feels like it's really nice quality, it comes in lots of different colours and sizes. At that price, I think it's worth picking up if you're on the lookout for an oversized t-shirt. Okay, next up I picked up the oversized striped half sleeve shirt. So this is a short sleeved button up shirt. The two things that drew me to this were, first of all, it being oversized. And second of all, I really like the look of the almost grayish blue colorway. However, as soon as I took it out of the packaging, I knew straight away that it was going back. So the material is 100% cotton, but I don't know why it feels horrible. The only way I can describe it is like what a tent feels like. It's this sort of scratchy, low quality feeling material. It creases really easily. It doesn't feel nice on the body. It's not breathable. It feels like you're gonna get really sweaty wearing it. And considering I wanted to wear this in the warmer days, that's just no good. When I put it on body, it pretty much solidified my decision to send it back. It's oversized in all the wrong ways. They haven't really made it a nice wide boxy fit. All they've done is make it really long. I might have actually been able to forgive the material if it was a bit of a shorter cropped fit. But their idea of oversized in this case is just to make it really long and I'm not keen on that. I did try a fit by tucking it in, uh, but I wasn't really liking the look of that. When you consider the price as well, just under 30 pounds, this is definitely a no-go. Now then, moving on to the opposite end of a scale in shirt. This is something I'm very happy about. So this is the women's overshirt jacket. I wouldn't class it as a jacket at all. This is definitely shirt vibes. It's a blended material again, 65% lyocell, which I've never heard of, and cotton. However, the feel is like a canvas material, similar to the cargo trousers from earlier. It's not quite as heavyweight as I thought it was gonna be, which is why I wouldn't class it as a jacket. But there are so many things I love about this. Unlike the last shirt, this is oversized in all the right ways. So this has a really wide boxy body and a cropped length on it. So you're getting that nice oversized look without it being like a dress on you. Now it's got the two big front pockets there, which hang quite low. Five big buttons on the front, as you can see. No side pockets, which is again why I wouldn't call it a jacket necessarily. I picked this up in a size extra large, which is the largest it comes in, and I'm delighted with the fit on this. I think the only drawback on this is the price, which is just under £50. I think that is getting into the range of a little bit too expensive. It would be interesting to take a look around and see if you could get anything similar for a bit cheaper. But I think this is one that I'll be keeping. I'm really happy with it. This is the women's washable mock neck jumper. I don't really get why they're putting an emphasis on it being washable, aren't all their pieces washable? But this is a really nice piece and as you can see I went a bit out there with the colour. I really liked how this colour looked on the website and it really does match the photos in real life. So it's almost like a pastel washed out green. This is a cotton polyester blend in this sort of knitted pattern and it's actually quite heavyweight. Now of course the main feature of this is the mock neck. Now a mock neck is like a small turtleneck almost, but it doesn't roll over so the t-shirt I have on now is a mock neck, this is a mock neck. You can see that the neck just comes a little bit higher and is sort of fitted around the neck which I think is really important for oversized clothing. Another nice feature are the side splits at the hem. Now being a women's piece this is naturally shorter and that's actually why I got it. I am enjoying the cropped look of tops at the moment and that can be achieved either by tucking in your top or by buying shorter length tops like this. I picked this up in a larger size available which was extra large. Unfortunately I think it is just a little bit too small for me. This was never intentionally made to be oversized. In fact I think it's probably a fitted top so even picking this up an extra large wasn't big enough for me however at a price of just under 30 pounds I actually think this is a really good deal especially if you can make this fit you the way you like okay next up yeah I went a bit green heavy on this haul I don't know why I was in the green mood but again it was the color that really drew me to this and I really like the way it looked on the model in the photos it kind of had an oversized look to it so it comes in a massive range of sizes all the way from extra extra small up to 3xl I just got the XL and I really like the way this fits me so on the face of it it looks like just a regular hoodie but there are some nice things about it I've got loads of hoodies especially from Fruit of a Loom and Gildan which is where I would usually get the sort of color block hoodies from but this is a unique color which I haven't seen in those brands and of course it does have a slightly different fit to them I'd say this is a little bit more on the slimmer and longer side this is also a notable step up in quality to cheaper hoodies one unique thing about it is that it doesn't have a kangaroo pocket across the front it just has two regular pockets like a jacket and I know that it's a weird detail to pick up on but I like that the elasticated cuffs on the sleeves are quite long and they're also quite long on the hem as well I notice on my cheaper hoodies that these are always quite thin and it looks a 
a bit weird to me. The hood is okay. I wish that it was a little bit stiffer and held its shape a bit more. But as I said, I picked this up in an XL and I quite like the way it looks, especially if I roll up the hem a little bit on the bottom. This obviously crops the length a little bit and gives me the look I like. The price on this one is just under £35. I'd say if you're looking to step up your quality in hoodies, then this is a really good choice. Okay, last thing of the haul and that is the denim work jacket. This is a unisex piece so it runs from extra extra small to 3XL. I picked it up in the size large. Now with this one, I wanna go straight to the price because this is the best value piece of the entire haul. This was just under 35 pounds, which I can't quite believe. So this is a heavyweight denim jacket and being a workwear jacket, it's longer on the body. If you've ever seen those Carhartt chore jackets, which can cost well over 100 pounds, that's exactly what this looks and fits like. Similar to those Carhartt jackets, it's got the one breast pocket and it's a button up on the front. I got it in the off-white colorway and it looks quite similar to the cargo trousers I showed earlier on. So it's sort of a creamy stone color. This jacket also has two side pockets which is really useful and it's got some nice construction on the back with a center back seam and since it's quite a relaxed fit and I picked it up in a large size it does have a little bit of a drop shoulder on it. So I think this just looks great with several other pieces from this haul. It's heavyweight, it's going to keep you warm and it's a great price. You should definitely pick this up if it's something you like the look of. So my first impressions of Uniqlo are quite good. The overall quality is definitely a step up from your usual high street stores but also with that comes an increase in price. I can definitely see why people rave about them for their basics. I'd say it's a good place to go if you're looking to spend a little bit more to elevate your wardrobe slightly. My favourite pieces are definitely the French rib trousers and the denim workwear jacket. I'll definitely be keeping my eye on the Uniqlo website. I'll be happy to do more hauls and reviews if anyone is interested in the future. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.